If you've been using your computer for a while, you may find that a bunch of files and folders have accumulated. And when you want to get rid of old stuff or organize things, you really don't want to do them one at a time. That's painful. This is Allison from Computers.Mom, and in this video I'm going to show you four quick and easy ways to select multiple items on a Windows computer. First of all, you need to know where a couple of keys are on your computer keyboard. Shift, which should be very familiar, and the Control key often written CTRL. There's two of them, one on each side of your keyboard, doesn't matter which one you use. Some of you just need a refresher, so I'm going to do the four options quickly first, and then we'll walk through them again more slowly and in more detail in case this is new to you. Option one, if the things you want to select are all together in a list next to each other, click the first one, hold the shift key, and click the last one. Option two, if the objects you want to select are scattered through a list, Click on the first one that you want, and then hold down the control key on your keyboard and click on each of the other objects that you want to select. Click, control click, control click. Option three, if you want to select all of the items in a particular location, hold down the control key on your keyboard and tap the letter A. And finally, option four, to select a bunch of icons that are close together on your screen, Create an imaginary rectangle by clicking and dragging diagonally from one corner of the rectangle to the other corner. Everything touched by that rectangle will be selected. Once you have a bunch of things selected, you can delete them, move them, organize them, whatever you need to do. So that's all four ways, but if that was too fast, let's try this again more slowly and in more detail. To get started, click this little folder icon on your taskbar. That's File Explorer, the tool that lets you manage the files and folders on your computer. Now I'm going to go into the Documents folder because I know I've got a lot of stuff in there, some of which I really don't need anymore. I've dragged the window to the top of the screen and I'm going to make it a little bigger by dragging the corner. Now I can see everything that's in the Documents folder, but I'm in Icon View. But for our purposes, I want to be in Detail View. So all I have to do is click on View up here on the menus and then Details, and now I can see everything in Lists. It's all the same stuff, but it's organized in columns instead of as icons. You can see right here that there are 110 items in this Documents folder, and they're all kind of mushed together, pictures, recipes, work stuff. If I have to drag one at a time all these pictures into the Pictures folder, I'm never going to get it done. I want to be able to grab a bunch of things at once. When the items are together in a list, they're all next to each other, I click the first one to select that, hold the shift key, and click the last one in the list. Now they're all selected, and I can drag them up here and drop them on the Pictures folder. And if I open up the Pictures folder now, I can see that they're all there, and when we go back to Documents, they're gone. So they all move together. So that was easy, right? If they're in a list, I click the first one and shift click the last one, they're all selected. But what if they're not all in a list next to each other? If they're scattered throughout the list, I have to do it differently. Click the first one, hold down the control key, and click each additional file that you want to select. Using this technique, I've selected three different work files, and now I'm going to drag all three of them, I can do that from any one of the selected files, into this folder, My Work Stuff. So that was option two, the items are not next to each other. I can even combine those two techniques. For example, everything from focaccia down to macaroons really belongs in baking and desserts, except for the salmon. So if I click and then shift click to select all of these, I can then exclude the salmon by control clicking on it. I've selected everything except the salmon, and I can now drag them and drop them in baking and desserts. And we can put the salmon into the fish folder for good measure. Two quick notes here. When you're using the shift and control keys to select things, just hold it until the object is selected and then release. You don't have to keep holding it down. And although I use the word mouse, you can just as easily use a touchpad or trackpad on a laptop as your mouse to do all of these steps. Okay, option three, if you want to select all the objects in a particular location, like this folder, hold down the control key and tap the letter A. All selected. Now if I want to get rid of these, I can just right click on any one of them and choose delete from the menu that comes up. And they're gone. So now you know the three different ways to select files and folders, whether they're grouped together, scattered, or you want to just grab all of them. 
But there's another technique that's kind of fun, so I'm going to show you that as well. So let's go into the pictures folder where the files are shown as icons. Now I can lasso the icons I want with my mouse. Just click with your mouse button on the upper left hand corner and drag to the lower right hand corner to create this imaginary rectangle and then everything it touches is selected. So let's take all these pictures of my grandmothers and put them into a folder called grandmothers. Let's recap these four techniques on a single page which you can print if you want to. If you are looking at the items in a list and they're all together, click the first item, hold the shift key, and click the last item to select all the items in that list. If they're scattered, click the first one, hold down the control key, and click each additional item that you want to select. To select everything, hold down the control key and tap A, and to lasso a bunch of items in a rectangular area, click and drag to create an imaginary rectangle touching all of those items. That's all there is to it. You can leave comments and questions below, click like if you found this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos like this one. Thanks for watching.